What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up multiplayer or local multiplayer, including split screen multiplayer in Unreal Engine 5. Um, and it's a pretty simple process. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. Thank you so much for being a channel members. If you wanna support this channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. All right, so on to the video itself. We're just in the standard uh, third person uh, template here. So what we're gonna do is go over to these three dots here and set the max number of players to two. Now you're gonna notice an error. When you first try and play this, it's gonna show you two windows, but when you control one, the other player isn't actually there. This is because they're both trying to run as the main platform. So what you're gonna do is change the net mode to play as listen server. And this is gonna make both of them basically listen to each other for active clients. And as you'll see here, we now have two characters in um, our scene. But this is, again, good for multiplayer, like a uh, web-based multiplayer, or even multiplayer on LAN, but this is two different windows. We can't realistically play on two different windows here. So how do we get this into uh, local multiplayer. Well, let's go ahead and go to settings and we're going to go to project settings. In project settings, we're going to go to maps and modes and you're going to see we have split screen here and we can choose the kind of split screen. So we can do horizontal or vertical. Uh, we'll leave it at horizontal for now. And then we can choose three player split screen layout where it favors the top or favors the bottom. And then four player split screen layout where we could choose grid, vertical, or horizontal. And we're gonna choose grid. Uh, so skip assigning gamepad to player one. Generally, we wanna set this to true, but you can uh, toy around with that and make sure that your gamepad settings are uh, to the appropriate player. Generally, this is because we wanna give the main player keyboard and mouse and the second player a gamepad, but that's not too important for this tutorial. So how do we actually get this to run with uh, two or more players uh, without using networking. Let's go ahead and set this to one again. And instead, we're gonna go to our level blueprint. And in our level blueprint, we're going to type begin play and create a begin play event. And in begin play, we're gonna type in create player and we're gonna create a local player. And we're gonna leave controller ID as negative one because it's always gonna add one to the current player number. And now if we hit play, you'll see that there are two windows here and it is multiplayer. All you have to do is assign inputs to the second player and they'll be able to control it. Or if they use a gamepad, you'll be able to control it as, and all you have to do is essentially set up your uh, player inputs to accept either first player or second player. And generally you wanna set up gamepad inputs and assign the specific controller to each. Um, but let's move on to how to add more players. It's simply as simple as going into your level blueprint and duplicating this. So let's add one more player and see what that looks like. Now we have a split screen multiplayer where the top is preferred. And again, in project settings, you can set it to the bottom preferred or even have them lined up. And then of course we can add a fourth player the exact same way in level blueprints. And just connect this up here. And if we hit play, we now have four different characters, but they're all in the same spot. So how do we actually assign them different locations in the scene? Well, all we have to do is recreate this player start to create another one. Let's say we want our second player there, our third player way over here in this corner, and our fourth player way in this corner. Now, if we hit play, they are all in different areas, exactly where we place the spawn points is where they're going to show up. And yep, there they are. So yeah, that's it for this one. This is the very quick and, uh, you know, nitty gritty setup on how to get lo local multiplayer and split screen multiplayer working in Unreal Engine 5. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.